this company to close our plant. If they think we're simply going to lie down and allow them to walk all over us, then they best think again. <laughs> Honda Logistics, we're looking at nearly a thousand people. With Honda as well, you're looking at a further three and a half thousand. But with the rest of the supply chain, you're looking at nearly 15,000. Most of the people that we employ are migrant workers that have come over to this country on a promise, work for Honda, set up a life here. That's going to disappear. A lot of people are dependent on the Honda, especially a lot of people coming in here. save a town and that town has been excellent for many many years we've had railways we've had uh, BMW the Honda plant is fundamental to the local economy here in Swindon Wiltshire and in the southwest already in the southwest we've seen the closure of Appledore shipyard We've seen SKF announce the closure of a manufacturing plant in Gloucestershire and others are threatening to follow. We know that the EU and Japan have broken a trade deal, that eventually we'll see tariff-free exports from Japan into Europe. Then the uncertainty will break it in the UK. We don't know what that deal looks like. We on the continent are next. There are another 5,000 people working on the continent and I think it fits in a bigger plan of Honda to leave Europe Honda are saying it's about electrification, consolidation of models. They're saying they haven't got the infrastructure in the UK to meet that demand. They're looking towards America and Asia. That car can be built there. Everything's there to go. Save on the factory! What you find Save on the factory! What you find Save on the factory! What you find the green economy is going to transform the auto industry. We're going to see the end of the combustion engine within 30 years here. And so it's really important that we're at the forefront actually, not just of the technology that's required to transform this industry, but we're actually having a just transition of those that currently work in it into the new areas of work that are going to grow as a consequence of that change. Honda say they need an electric vehicle market. So let's give them one. Charging points in every street, in every town, in every village, in every city. That we incentivise people to buy electric vehicles, and not just electric vehicles, other low carbon vehicles. We also need to use the huge power that the government has and our public services to buy their vehicles from Honda and other British manufacturers. Our strategy is to build local to reduce those supply chains, lessen the amount of environmental damage that is caused during the course of moving product around. We've got fantastic innovation in relation to batteries and future battery technologies here in Swindon. We want to make those batteries here, create more jobs, a bigger supply chain and a better future for everyone in Swindon and right across Britain. We cannot and will not let Honda destroy jobs, destroy families, destroy the economy of Swindon and the people that live there. There's children there, look, young children, trying to get themselves on ladders, they've worked hard, they've got good jobs. Let's keep them jobs, let's keep, let's keep this factory and we will keep this factory.